Hi folks, my name is Henry Shapiro and I'm one of the co-founders here at Reclaim.ai. And today I'm gonna to be showing you an integration that we're pretty excited about. Um, and that is our linear integration that will automatically block time for your issues in linear on your calendar so that you actually get the time you need to get the work done. This integration is in beta, but uh, we've got plenty more coming uh, in the next few months. We've got Asana and Jira and Trello support and Todoist support. Um, so this is really one of, of many task integrations and project management integrations that we're gonna be releasing uh, over the next few months. Um, today, what I'm gonna show you how to do really is uh, set up the integration. And then I'm gonna kind of show you some best practices around uh, organizing your issues in linear uh, so that you can actually get the time blocked on your calendar and so that they get synced as, uh, as tasks uh, to your uh, to reclaim and ultimately blocked on your schedule. Um, so if you're not already a reclaim user, obviously you can sign up for reclaim. It's free through the end of the year and into uh, the first quarter of next year. Um, so once you've set up reclaim and you've uh, created your account, um, you're going to head over to your settings page and uh, specifically on this integrations item. And this is where you can find not only linear, but actually all of our integrations uh, with Slack and Google Tasks and Zoom. And you can see all the other ones that we have coming if you want to get updated on them. With linear, you're just going to hit this connect linear button. And then this is going to take you uh, to a step in linear where we're actually going to ask you to log in uh, to your linear account. And then I'm basically here on this settings page, and this is really the core of how Reclaim is going to integrate with Linear to pull your issues in. Um, and there's really two big settings in here. The first setting is this setting, which is which teams do you want the integration to be turned on for? And by default, we'll pull in all the teams that are associated with your Linear account. Um, but you, uh, you can also deselect, you know, if I don't want to include prod tests and I just want to include the Reclaim team, I can do that. Um, but this is really just a, a list of teams that are going to have the integration. Um, the next setting here is about how we actually sync those issues. And there's two options here. Um, one option is to uh, tag your issues in linear with a label called reclaim. And that label uh, will be a signal to reclaim that it needs to uh, detect that task and block time for it on the calendar. Um, the other thing you can do, this is what's on by default. The other thing you can do is you can opt for all estimated issues that have a due date or a cycle uh, to get synced to reclaim automatically. And pausing on you know, this particular topic for a second, um, all of the issues that reclaim will sync from linear to your calendar have to have an estimate and they have to either have a due date or a cycle associated with them in order for us to schedule them. The reason for this is uh, we need an estimate so that we know roughly how much time to block on the calendar. Um, and then we also need some kind of date that tells us when it's due. So if it's the cycle, we'll use the end of the cycle date. If it's a custom due date, uh, like the one that you might add uh, in here, I can see that I have a due date here that I can set. Um, I could set the due date for each issue, or I could just use the cycle date which is gonna be whatever, whatever date the cycle ends on. Um, and then of course I need an estimate, um, which uh, in our case, we use t-shirt sizing, but you can use any of the estimate types that are offered in linear uh, to add an estimate to the issue. And that's what's gonna ultimately correspond to a duration in our system. And that's what's gonna tell us how much time we need to block. Another thing to point out in here while we're in linear, is that um, in order for you to uh, use the integration effectively, we highly recommend, uh, first of all, enabling estimates if you haven't already. Um, so you can go to your team settings here. And if I go under workflow, uh, if I go under general, you can see different estimation types. And if yours is not in use, you'll wanna change it to one of these things. Uh, these other you know, settings are more about customizing the estimates inside of Linear. We don't really care about those. Um, and then the other thing you'll want to do as part of your um, setup, you don't have to do this, you can always just use due dates as we showed before, is it's a good idea to enable cycles. And chances are, if you're working on a team that's uh, doing some form of agile uh, development, you probably already have these cycles turned on. But if you don't, um, it's a good practice to get those added so that you can easily add issues to the cycle and uh, use the due dates from those, those cycle end dates. 
Um, and so essentially that's really all you need to get started with the integration. So when I go into, um, you know, and we'll actually, we'll stick with uh, prod test here, um, just in the interest of showing you a simple list of issues here. So here I've got uh, a team that has been added to uh, my linear integration. You can see it here in the settings. I've got prod test turned on. So I go in here and let's say I wanna create a ticket. We'll call it uh, fix important bug for a customer. And I'll expand this out so that you can kind of see what's what. And I'll say, you know, need to fix the thing and tell the customer when it's done. And as you recall, I, I actually was using the setting where I have to add a, the reclaim label. If I use this setting where I, you know, any estimated issue with the due date or cycle, then as soon as I add an estimate to this thing and it's in a cycle, it'll basically be considered, you know, okay, Let's let's sync this thing to reclaim. Uh, but in my case, I'm using the label, so I'm going to use that. So I can hit save on this, and then I'm going to give it a priority. Um, reclaim is going to kind of flex your due date a little bit based on the priority of the issue. So urgent items and high priority items are going to get a little more of a rigid due date. Medium and low priority are going to be a bit more flexible. And so we try to kind of honor the priority uh, of the of the ticket that you're creating. I'm going to say this is an urgent issue. So it gets scheduled as quickly as possible and uh, will also uh, have a more uh, hard line due date. I'm going to assign it to myself, um, although you can assign issues. This is kind of a fun workflow that we actually use a bit on our team. You can assign issues to um, other people on the team and give it an estimate and it'll block time automatically on their calendar if they have the integration turned on. Um, so pretty cool little workflow, but I'm just going to go ahead and assign it to myself so I don't bother anyone else. Um, and now I'm going to add an estimate. I'm going to say this is a medium, uh, which is a, a couple of hours. You can see a full list of kind of how we translate estimates to durations in our help docs. Um, and then I'm going to add the label. I'm going to add the reclaim label. And now that label's on there. And in just a moment, in fact, it already just popped up. You can see this little, what Linear calls an attachment show up. And in just a few more seconds through the magic of WebSockets, you will see a scheduled time show up for this thing. Um, so let's just give it a few seconds. There it is. So I can see that it's scheduled uh, for November 23rd at 5.15 PM. And that actually kind of makes sense because I said this thing's really urgent and I need to get it done and it's in the current cycle. And so it's like, let's let's get this thing done. Um, I can click on this link and it's actually going to take me to the task itself. It'll show me kind of all the info about the task. It'll have a nice little link to the task details. Um, you can see the due date is set to that cycle end date, which in, in this case turns out to be the end of the week. That's another reason it got scheduled so quickly. Um, and you can see it blocked four hours for me. Um, but if I actually just want to see this on my calendar, there it is. Fix important bug for a customer. Uh, you can see it's popped up right here. Um, and so this is really kind of the core of the integration. You can, you can sync your tasks from linear and you can see all of them that have been synced over. Let's see, I've got one here, actually a couple here for some reason for uh, recording a linear walkthrough. Um, and uh, you can manage them all from, from Reclaim or you can also manage them from Linear. So let's say I'm looking at this thing and I say, you know, I, uh, I actually finished this work. I finished it this morning um, and I mark it as deployed to prod. So in a moment here, you're actually gonna see this thing get removed and Reclaim is gonna consider the work done. And this is really kind of the other really nice part about using this integration is um, you can sort of mark things as done from within linear and they'll get considered done on the reclaim side so that they don't keep occupying space on your calendar. Uh, similarly, if, you know, time started passing over this uh, block, you can see it already got removed. Uh, but if time had started passing over that block, it would get moved to in progress inside of linear. So we do a little bit of workflow automation between linear and reclaim in here as well. Um, just like any other task inside of Reclaim, you get a lot of control over how this thing gets scheduled on your calendar. Um, you can delete the task from the past. If you didn't finish it on Google Calendar, you can delete the task event. Uh, you can see it just got updated here with this little done label. So that lets me know it's done because I marked it as deployed to production. I can you know, delete a task event that's been in the past and it'll be a signal to Reclaim to reschedule it. 
I can move the task around on my calendar. Um, really, this is a flexible system you can work with. And this integration is all about just making sure that we're syncing with those issues that are uh, coming in from Linear and making sure that they get blocked on your calendar. Um, so give the integration a whirl. Uh, we're really, really excited to share it with you. And again, this is a kind of an early uh, sense of what the rest of our integrations roadmap is going to look like. And over the next few months, we're going to be pulling in more and more of these tasks uh, from different platforms into Reclaim so that you actually get time for them during the week. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's basically all there is to it. And we're looking forward to hearing your feedback and uh, have fun.